Well, I think we would all agree that somewhere in the core part of our being, there is an inner spiritual self, soul, doesn't matter what term you call it. And also around us we have uh, a form of ego, shell that we create. And into our outer world we have a whole group of individuals and people. Now what I don't think is so often appreciated is standing between what's going on inside and this outer world is that there is a whole group of what I've called inner archetypes or sub-personalities. And if we can highlight this here, one of the things in all of this is that people in our outer world, friends, family, associates, etc., reflect our inner world archetypes. So the outer world is reflecting the inner world. And in other words, the energy that comes through from your inner self connects in with the inner archetype and then gets reflected out into the outer world. So one way we can understand what's going on inside of us is just to simply look at what's happening in our outer world. If our outer world is all healthy and balanced, then the inner world is healthy and balanced. If the outer world is all chaotic or has problems, then there's something that's a real problem inside of ourselves. So just to highlight this a little bit more, people in our outer world, friends, family, associates, etc., reflect our inner world archetypes. And it's this inner world archetypes which I think is really fascinating. Now what we need to appreciate is that these inner world archetypes start to get laid down in childhood. And this is why childhood is such an important and informative period in our lives. And if there's difficulties which go on in childhood, traumas occur in childhood, then it can start to affect the development of this, this inner world archetypal pattern. And we can pick up some of this. Oh, well, let's just first of all look at the, the, what's, what is the dynamic which holds it all together. Um, I would call it resonance. And I was talking with uh, Professor uh, Fred Allen Wolf about all of this, who put me in line with the idea that everything is held together by resonance. If two things are resonating together, then there is a connection energetically. So, our inner, outer world characters are resonating with what's going on inside of us. Uh, and it's this core essence is reflecting out, the energy from the core essence reflects out into our outer world archetypes, uh, outer world people. But let's Now, the other aspect of all of this is when you change what's going on inside, the outer world has to change as well. Uh, because the two are mirroring each other. And we can follow this through. Let's say here we are, our inner core self hits the inner world archetype and reflects out into this outer world. And let's say there's some dynamic here to do with jealousy, which is holding this pattern of energy together. But all oh, being good New Ages or Aquarian Ages or whatever, you do a lot of work on yourself, begin to sort out the issues of jealousy you begin to change this inner world archetypal form and what happens is then the outer world, let's say you bring in the question of acceptance, then the outer world personality will change. They have to change if they're going to stay in resonance with you. If they choose not to stay, uh, not to change, they try to hold the, hold the same pattern, there can be a tussle to begin with, but then the energy link will dissolve and they will simply go out of your life. That's the pattern of how it works. And that energy is still flowing with you, still needs to be connected, and so someone new will come into your life to, to, to match that quality.